Hello everybody, Salty Goldfish here, and we are in round one of Full Mirrored and Block Flashback. Won the toss, we're going to go ahead and choose to play first. Magma gets a little awkward with an all-island hand. Four islands, a condescend, and a duplicate. Red deck's not particularly aggressive, I kind of, I think I want to keep this. It's not a great hand, but I think uh, we're pretty likely on the play to get to condescend their first play. And hopefully scry into some action, hopefully a mountain to then magma jet them and scry some more. Sounds... that could be pretty fantastic. I mean, obviously the worst case scenario is our first draw is another island. I mean, it's pretty unlikely there's only nine more of... No, eight more of them in the deck, I think. I think I did 12-5. I changed it a couple times in the at the last minute there. But I think it was 12-5. Um, yeah, I can't check it without fittering around. Um, actually, you know what? Since T seems to be deciding to mulligan, let's actually just check it. It's going to be under free form. Uh, Mirror and Dark Steel. Yeah, I've, so I have four more islands in my deck, or eight more islands in my deck. Uh, eight, eight out of 33 chance that my top card's an island is, I mean, it's reasonable. It's slightly less than 25%, it's about 24%. Okay. I mean, so we have a 75% chance that our first draw is actually good. Because pretty much Island is the only bad draw that a first draw could be. About a 12% chance of getting a mountain to turn on a magma jet. And a really good chance of getting a creature. Alright. Island go. Yeah, not really a fan of the Mirrodin Islands. I mean, they're cool looking, but they don't look like islands. Okay. That was pretty good. Now, I'd love my opponent to play a two drop so I can condescend it. Get the scry. Um, bottom, top, and worst case scenario, I can always pitch that Aether Spell Bomb to bounce my Prodigy. Oof. Don't think I want to do the... Do I want to play the Aether Spellbomb just to get it done to play? There's a chance I draw Cumulux, which it makes it slightly like, more likely to be cast. I can still, if I desperately need to, bounce my Mirox by by actually using my Spellbound from play. Plus, there was always a chance my opponent went ham with a bunch of artifacts and I needed to bounce the Nim. Oof. This is so bad. Because I didn't get because I haven't gotten my hmm. I mean duplicates kinda what I wanna do. I think I just bounce his Evan Drake. I don't want to play Opal Bracers as just the worst land in Scimitar ever. So bad. God. 
I mean, it's not good that I drew the island, but it's perfectly reasonable that I... Yes, I'd like to use duplicate ability. And a 6 mana 3-4 Necrotal is pretty good. Maybe I should have grabbed a Horned Helmet. Wasn't, I, you know what? I wasn't even thinking about that Horned Helmet actually is one of the few that actually is reasonable. Divination. Plus, plus I'm putting my button on a bit of a clock. Uh... So, Actually, you know what? I'm just going to take it. I'm going to lose a card no matter what. Um... I was just really didn't want him to be able to follow, follow up with an arrest. So I can get in... Can I put my opponent at... I think I can put him at dead to any spell. So, any card resolving, I win. He can only attack me for eight. He's locked out. Yeah. So, I think Unforge is probably worthwhile in this matchup. Um, I want to bring in a mountain, take out an island to bring in the Unforge. Yeah, I think the... Rain of Rust is really bad with just the amount of red cards I have. So, what's bad? Um, this guy seems pretty mediocre. Yeah. If I draw blue, this is a pretty good hand. I get 12 blue sources. Um, I'm on the draw. I get one, two, th I get three draws. I can cycle Aether Spellbomb if I desperately need to. I think I'm likely to hit the island. I mean, yeah, I'm pretty likely to hit the island. 
I just know I'm not going to see the island, but it, I think the correct mathematical thing is I will at the island. Okay. So we go Nurox, um... Pure tempo. Nurox by. Drone at Mount Expector. And I think. to regress main phase or during the combat phase Awkwardly, because I have three red sources, I can't scry, hope to... Yeah. Um... Do I want duplicate? I think I do. And then, yeah, Arcbound Rav, Bruiser, though, I don't. I mean, maybe I should have put him on the bottom, but he seems so good. Maybe I, I think, you know what, I think I sorted that wrong. I should have met Serum Visions, then Magma Jetted. Okay, we need to threaten to start speeding up the clock. So I'm not going to discard to this 3-4 Vigilance. I think I want to play this guy and make him a 4 4. So.
basically enables me to stop the discard engine. I mean, you can put it on this, but I don't think it, I think it's just a 4-1 then, and this is irrelevant. And I'll snap trade. And he's still got the 3-1, or 3-mana 1-1. One, one. I mean, technically he can regenerate it, but... That guy again. Alright, yeah, so what we're going to do, we're going to play Wizard Replica, and then we're going to equip Wizard Replica. Kind of weird. Last creature exiled. Oh, I don't even need to do that. I can just hit him for five in the air, and I take... One second. How much is this crack back? Um, three, seven, eleven crack back. And then I can hit him for four unblockable, at the very least. I can counter anything that's going to, I can, well, I can sort of counter anything that's going to be super difficult. This is scary. I think I get aggressive. I have the life total. Yeah, none of his creatures fly. Oh, end of combat. That was the thing he had I forgot about. Okay. Take the flyer. Yes, I want to use the ability. And kill him in the air. Whew. It was kind of a close one, sort of. I mean, it was a lot closer because I got 
knowing that he had the spirit, I, which I forgot, um, made that game way closer than it had any right to be. And like, I should have just been like two. And then when I got him to a point where I could just kill him, would have been way better. Yeah.